journalists often are on the side of the fanatical protection of copyright, which is absurd because the duty of artists and, and journalists is to spread the information as much as possible. You're trained as a director and you're a dancer as well. I would be interested in hearing your opinion on the relation between hacktivism and art. I think we should ask uh, if there is any relation between artists and reality. I come from this field and I am really critique with the field. There is much many, much less artists risking or taking any strong decision to change the world than any other profession because artists think that they are kind of some kind of privileged whatever it is. And I think that we are all human beings that we should be fighting to transform the reality. I think art is very important because it's a way of explaining and showing things that doesn't go only to the brain but also to the guts at the same time. And we know that to change uh, we need both things all the time. Do you have any examples of um, art projects which you have used in relation to hacktivism or any sort like that? We work on laws, we take the laws that they have to be approved and we read it and we transform it in some kind of a, a questionnaire that can be done in the streets etc. so that the people understand the what it is really inside uh, of the law. We have this idea of the law, oh the law. The law is just a piece of paper written by humans with a lot of mistakes and with a lot of things which are not logic. And that as citizens then we have to know. Every year we do a festival, it's called Oxcars, and it's a festival on the free culture. And uh, again, it's a bit of a funny uh, festival that during four hours explain to the people copyleft is the future and sharing is the future, internet is the future. It, this is how I explain to the people um, things that uh, normally they, they are kept away by the, this area that the elites and the establishment puts around the things that they want to keep for themselves. Could you explain what exactly free culture is? The free culture in this capitalistic sur uh, surrounding we live in is the fact that uh, we should share everything we want and uh, when there is some money generated then this uh, money that is generated should be also be shared between all the actors of the item that generate this money. And I think it's something very simple. It's about sharing and being fair. And what would you say is the role of journalism here in promoting free culture? There is a fanatic lobby on copyright and they are using artists and also journalists uh, to, as an excuse with this, the story of the piracy and all this legend, which is absurd because the duty of artists and, and journalists is to spread the information as much as possible. We should be, as artists, as journalists, and in any case as citizens, on the front line in defending the access of information culture and uh, a free, uh, neutral internet. What would you say is the role of journalism in relation to your own projects? Because um, on the panel you spoke about um, how you were bringing bankers to jail and that there was not that much journalistic coverage on that. And how would you say this could be changed maybe? There is a huge coverage because we are putting in jail the main bankers and, and politicians in, in Spain. What there is no coverage at all is that it's us. But not the importance is not that it's me. What the press doesn't say is that is normal people doing that. So this is a terrible because this brings the people thinking once again that they need institution to that to get the problem solved. And I can assure you that institution are exactly the one they are trying to not solve the problem. Why we the citizens we are fighting to force the institution to do what they were supposed to do. So we are doing the work of the institution. And this has to be known because I don't want to be an hero. I think this should be the normality. We should reply the model that citizens have to get organized to control their institution. And so we um, complain and we think that the journalists, except a very few occasions, are actively working to build a privilege that are insert in the system. And they are perpetrating this system that they 
in their texts say that they want to change, but in fact they are not. They don't accept to work in network with the reality. They, they just grab the information from the reality and privatize it. And we have to do the opposite way around. We have to share the information and that, that everybody can use this information to do whatever is need to be done. What it means to have freedom? How dare anybody take that away? Yeah. What, for the sake of an extraordinarily small percentage of people that would wish to do us harm?